Yo, what up? It's Aaron Moses. Gang. Now, this is the reaction. The response to Pop the Balloon episode 19. Now, if you saw me a little bit earlier, we were streaming, you know, uh, part one. I did the whole three hours yesterday, a fire ass reaction. But what happened was, you know, my audio was not loud enough, so I had to redo it. We're going to continue. The second guy, you know, he was a uh, he was a troll. So we're just going to skip past him, and we're going to go right into this reaction with the third guy. I'm going to just show you, just give you a small example of what I'm talking about. But, uh, yeah, let's go. Faith on her face. <laughs> okay, never mind. Okay. All right. all right, well, that is all the balloons popped. We thank do you. thank you for coming on, giving us some thank laughs. You. Thank you. You know, this guy is a... Uh, He's the host of his own dating show, and uh, I just don't want to spend my time responding and reacting to this dude, so we're just going to go to the I was serious. Oh, but, well, right. let's give it up for him, ladies. Thank you, ladies. I'll take Thank this you. mic. Okay. Thank, Thank you. you. <laughs> and you know, ironically, a couple of them didn't have their balloon pop for bros, so... Yeah, there's that. Okay, let's go ahead and bring out our next single guy. Hello, welcome in. What's your name? Uh, my name is uh, James Moore. James, what do you do? Uh, I work in software and IT right now. Okay, and how old are you? 35. 35, very nice. All right, uh, what are some things you like to do for fun? Uh, hang out with friends. Um, I kind of am into gaming, so okay. a little bit of that. Uh, I do like music, music production. Um, I'm pretty spontaneous, so uh, lately this year I went um, to Thailand for two months. Mm. Uh, yeah, so I'm pretty open to like doing fun stuff, but just kind of kicking back, taking it easy. I okay. do like to work out a lot, so fitness is a thing for me. Man, I'm stuck on these Terminator 2 boots that uh, Reckless Renegade Kind of kicking back. Feet. What's with these boots though, bro? Like, who told you this was a... Taking it easy. I do okay. like to work Come out. with the Rambo boots, bro. Come on now. You look dangerous, baby. You look dangerous. A lot. So fitness is a thing for me. Got it. Uh, what are some things to look for in a woman? Um, pretty much <laughs> just chill, down to earth, um, kind, nice, kind of a, just is herself really involved in what she um, wants to do for career-wise work, like, you know, has something she's passionate about mm -hmm. um, as well. I kind of find that that kind of motivates me about the things that I'm passionate about as well. Okay. So, yeah. Got Man, he got some fat-ass shoes on, bro. On my head, like I can think. 15 pound uh, shoes on. What you got going on, bro? That's what it would be. Uh, and what are some deal breakers? <sighs> deal breakers. Um, <laughs> so I would say kids, but the thing is, I'm not against kids because I have homegirls and friends that have children. Mm -hmm. um, the thing is, for me, is that the girl that I get together with, um, I want to have a family with, so I kind of want to start from the beginning. So that's probably uh, the reason why I would mention that. Okay. And then someone that's kind of just honestly like, not not kind mm. i think is kind of the things i could really mention so okay yeah. all so. right so we did get a pop down there let's go on over there and see why they ended up popping all right we can have your name and age before we get to all of this with her uh renegadeness with her hooker talk uh trying to promote herself and whatever she has going on i will say this about bro's presentation now we got to start with the facial hair the facial hair I have an issue with this because the darkness of his uh, mustache and beard and the T area, it doesn't really go well with the lightness of the cheek part of his beard. I would say that definitely should have not flown in to, you know, this part of his face. I think he should have went with a more square and I think this part should have been significantly lower. Now, besides that, man, we have the, the jewelry. The jewelry's not matching as far as his chain. I would have went silver, especially for his skin tone, or at the very least, yellow gold. And then the shirt, you know, with it being tighter up top and a little loose down at the bottom, I would have had it hang a little bit more, you know, past the waist. Now, the pants, because no diddy. 
the pants don't make his legs look good. And because it the, the shirt is a shirt that you could wear in multiple seasons, I definitely would have do some something khaki colored under that shirt. And then the shoes, his shoes are fat, like like I was saying, man. He definitely should have went with a shoe that was uh, thinner. He does look like a pretty tall guy, maybe six three or so. So his shoe size is something like a anywhere from a twelve to a fourteen, something like that. I wear a 12, so I understand maybe I would have went, even if he would have kept wearing those pants, I definitely would have went with a a wheat Timberland because I just like Tim's personally. Mm, a white shoe would have did him okay too with those jeans if he wanted to do that. But as I stated before, a khaki color, actual khakis that were fitting but not that fitting. Those are not skinny jeans. They're fitting, but as I stated prior, you know, his legs just don't look good in those jeans. But uh, let's get back to... Let's just get back to this walking black flag. Hi, I'm Zola Stone. I'm 31. And uh, Zola Stone, why did you end up popping your balloon? Um, I feel like we have a lot in common. You know, I do music as well. I'm a recording artist. But I feel like... You probably want a girl that's more, like, clean. clean why, are you, why are you assuming that? Why are you assuming? And I'm just more edgier. <laughs> yeah. You know, you probably want the clean, classy look. I'm into the tats, and... just just looking at your appearance. So <laughs> you're kind of what I like, just just saying. I don't know. I just kind of figured, oh, he's probably not going to like the face tats exactly. on me or, you know. What made, little... you, what made you think that? He's just so like clean, like perfect. I have, I have tattoos <laughs> like, as well. Very, maybe too strict. I don't know. I might be too <laughs> free while. Okay, yeah, those shoes they didn't look as fat right there, but from a distance they 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 look pretty fat. Um, but at the end of the day, you know, the and see exactly what mommy's doing with her face, with her unacceptably long ass nails. This is just a money grab. She has, I think, 30K on her Instagram. Yeah, because she, you know, she's a a recording artist and she sells her body, in my opinion, with her bra sticking all the way out. You could see the bra before you see the shirt. Um, I mean, it probably would have been a better idea if she could have shown some side titty, but, uh, you know, it is what it is. This is a very low class look for you. Definitely needed a PI, definitely in need of a 16. Um, but I will say, I really don't want to give her too much energy because that's all that it is. But bro is all like he's getting, he's giving her too much energy. This is borderline simping. Why are you trying to say that I wouldn't like you? You're overcome with lust so much to the point where you can't even tell that she used this as an opportunity to get her numbers up. You know what I mean? So, um, but I do feel an, I feel an attraction between both of them. And if she has some better decision-making skills, this nigga has money. He's a producer. He's a beat maker. Definitely knows some people. I don't know if he said where he lives. But because he is so overcome with lust, as far as this lady... Uh, because he does make music, because he is a, a tech nerd, technology runs the whole industry. So he definitely could have been good for her career. But at the end of the day, she is in the she is in that business. So she probably knows a hundred of these niggas. But you know, it would have been good clout wise if you could have shown some growth. And got with this dude, and actually, I think this would have been a smart move. But you don't have any, you don't have enough game to understand how to maneuver with this situation. You got millions of people are gonna see this. If today's Thursday, millions of people are gonna see this video by Monday. So, at the very least, in two months. So. <laughs> like I'm sorry, I don't know. Okay. That's the vibe I get. Like he yeah. wanted classy, clean, and um, I'm also a traveling exotic dancer, so okay. probably not gonna like that. 
all right, all right. I feel you on that. I get that. <laughs> yeah, like, <laughs> I don't know. Okay. It's like, yeah, you got the creative there, and I'm super creative, but I might I be too that. wild. <laughs> okay. 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 All right, so I know before you were like, See, yeah, like... and I'll just put you... Yeah, that too. She's getting mad because she's using this opportunity to boost her, whatever she has going on, and she's really, for, for real, looking for a partner. Um, but at the end of the day, she wanted somebody to beg her, number one. If she was going to choose somebody, she wanted somebody to, no, baby, take your balloon back. I'll eat your booty um, with a with a with a, uh with a pair of chopsticks. No, baby, it's okay. Like that's what she wanted, bro. Tattoos, she all that. So is she someone that you type? Um, uh, everything's cool. The last part, yeah, yeah. I think I'm cool. I'm good on that. I'm good on that. No judgment though, but no, yeah. I get it. Yeah. <laughs> and then she just looks so stupid with that with that face piercing, bro. With all these hood nigga ass tats, bro. Like she's, she's this, bro. She's this. She is this beautiful trash, bro. Thank she's you. A weirdo, bro. She is. She's sick. <laughs> okay, let's go over here. Your and name you and see, age. They both popped the balloon. All three of them bitches popped the balloons because you kept entertaining this person. That's what happens to the opportunities when you give energy to bullshit. Panther, uh, 27. Okay. And why'd you end up popping your balloon? I have a beautiful son, so no thank you. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Now, is she someone that's your type? Yeah, she definitely would be my type. She's uh, very she attractive. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I, like, I like the color of the dress and everything. Very, yeah, it's just... Yeah, my son is everything to me. How old's your son? Just to ask. Um, he's seven. Okay. Yeah, um, single mom, so, you know, I don't deal with no drama or nothing. It's just me and him, so, you know, we are, like, we're packaged, so if somebody doesn't accept him, then they don't get me, mm. so, yeah. I totally understand. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Let's head on back. We did get a pop right on over here. Oh, Your name and age. My name is Misha, and I'm 27. And Misha, why did you end up popping your balloon? Um, I just physically wasn't attracted. You know, it's like what always confused me is I mean, I understand to as much as I can, right? But you want somebody to accept some some when I say something, I'm I mean something as in the situation. I'm not saying I'm not calling a child a thing but you want somebody to accept something that is going to cause more chaos more drama more stress more money to be spent uh more bills to be created you want you want somebody to have the artificial experience of being a parent with having little to no control usually but you are not going to be patient enough to understand this man's problems and issues. The same thing that you experience with your child is how people experience certain problems and issues and obstacles in their life. So if this guy, let's say, if this guy was an alcoholic, right, his sobriety is his baby. His sobriety is everything to him. His sobriety is an extra burden, an extra bill, is going to cause extra stress. You're not going to help him with that. You might even make it worse. You know what I mean? If he has a business, which is going to cause all of those things that a child is going to cause. If he has a dream, if he's working on his career, if he has an expensive hobby that could turn into something lucrative for him to invest his time, energy, and money into, you're not going to, number one, you're not going to make it easier for him to experience these things. And you're not going to invest all of these things that you think that he should invest into another nigga's child. And the fact that you go out and you put your, you put your energy into finding, number one, a stepfather first, not necessarily a, a mate, you want a stepfather that's going to be a mate. You don't want a, a mate that's going to be a stepfather. 
You don't want to convince a motherfucker to try to help you with this baby that doesn't belong to him. You know, but that's what was always confusing to me. I think it's backwards, and I think it's very selfish, and I think it has uh, a narcissistic undertone for you to try to think that somebody should accept a mistake that you made, not an accident, a mistake that you made, but something that somebody's trying to do purposefully that it might even be his purpose, you can't make room for that. I just think that's very selfish and disgusting. Um, you are a good looking man, no doubt about that. It's just I just wasn't physically attracted and I didn't see um, myself, you know, matching with you. Um, a little too short for you? No, it's not even the shortness. Like, it, I don't think you're short, though. <laughs> so okay. I'm wearing heels right now. Okay. But um, just like, you know, your outfit and stuff, it just wasn't my vibe. So, okay. Oh, <laughs> speaking of heels. Mm, no, nah, her toes aren't on the floor, but her chicken nuggets are hanging off them shoes, though. I don't know how open toe heels work because I've never really started paying attention to that until I start watching this show. But, um, yeah, I'm going to be paying a little bit more attention to these chicken nuggets, though. All right. Now, she's someone that's your type? Because uh, uh, the she... baby over here, her chicken nuggets are kind of hanging out them shoes. She's cute, but probably not someone I would really go for, okay. honestly. Well, why not? Um, man, <laughs> uh, just, just not my type. Yeah, yeah mm. I, don't, I can't. Yeah. You can't pinpoint it. I can't pinpoint. I can't pinpoint. <laughs> okay. It. All right. I guess we'll let him slide. <laughs> yeah, let, let it slide. Let it slide. Let's go. <laughs> okay. Your name and age. I'm Shayna, and I'm thirty. Okay. And Shayna, why did you end up popping your balloon? So you are very handsome, but physically, just not my type. In the oh. outfit too. Okay. What What are you into physically? I want to know. I don't know. I don't see myself with you. Like when I saw you, there wasn't like no kind of connection. Yeah. Um. But you are good looking. Like. Thank you. Yeah. Chat squad. She is a. She's a bullet to be dodged. I'll just leave it at that. You'll see why later. He's trying Appreciate to figure it. out. Is it something specific? Yeah. I want to know like what what kind of men are you mm -hmm. into? Like what 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 turns you on? What gets you excited? <laughs> Just when I saw you, I didn't feel a, any kind of connection. We'll say that, bro, because you see the you see how she's just not willing to cooperate and answer the goddamn motherfucking question, bitch. Like she has issues with that. She has horrible problems with taking direction and following instructions, bro. This is not a feminine. This is not a. This is not a. Um. This is not a. Easily emasculated, easily well, yeah, I don't know that much about him, but this is not an effeminate man. This is somebody who he's just a typical dude, like he's a nerd, you know. But the fact that she's still playing with him, like she's the type where you have to be a little bit more aggressive, a little bit more. Like, how, how more stoic can this dude be with the exception of him shooting his shot at the stripper, whatever the whatever she's supposed to be, Rico Reckless, besides her? I mean, of course, I could see why that was a turnoff for the rest of the females because they're like, why are you you're putting effort into getting this woman? But I don't have face tats. I'm not a stripper. I'm not there. I'm not out there shucking dick for money. And now they're doing comparisons in their head. I'm surprised. I'm actually not surprised Cheeto Prince still has her balloon because her ass is thirsty with all them $15 rings on that she got at Claire's. But no, nah, no, nah, throw her away, bro. She got some big ass titty, but still. Um, but you are good looking, so. All right. Thank you. All right, we'll let it. We'll let it slide. Yeah, well, yeah, see, we'll we let, let you slide one. Yeah. That's one slide. <laughs> your name and age. I'm we'll Jojo, and I'm 30. Time. Okay, and Jojo, why did you pop your balloon? Uh, the attraction just wasn't there. I like that you're into fitness because uh, I am too. But um, as I was just looking, I was like, no, the, yeah. just the attraction. Okay. Okay. That's cool. All right. Now she's someone that's your type. Uh, yeah, yeah. I, your eyes are very beautiful. Thank you. Yeah, I like the ink as well too. I, bitch, bro, I don't like her, bro. She just looks so uncomfortable. 
She just looks so out of place. I don't want to just keep talking about her her neck or lack thereof. I don't want to just keep talking about her shoulder to hip ratio that I don't like. I don't want to keep talking about her kangaroo pouch. The dress is fire. You know, the dress is fire. I don't really like the color, but it was cool, man. You know? And the, the dress, so. She's straight. The mouth, I don't really like her mouth. She got a little... She got a little chin thing that I don't like, but still, she yeah, got cute probably would be someone I would I would uh choose. Yeah, I like to probably got a little bumper on her and all of that, but nah, man. You know, know you more, but she just, just she just looks just uncomfortable and out of place, and she just looks like she just needs a different type of love, and she's little. I don't like no. Off appearance, that yeah, I probably would choose her. Yeah, Thank like you. Five, three. I don't like five, okay, so we do still have three balloons left unpopped. I'm gonna five, go ahead and have you ask these ladies a question just to help you narrow it down, see who's more of your type. Hmm. All right, um, what do you feel <laughs> like has been a very positive attribute and the men that you've dated that has been kind of like something that's been brought up over time? Okay, let's start over here. That was a weird way to word the question that he's going to repeat it. But yeah, you weren't confused as much as. Your name and age and the answer to his question. Hi, I'm Deja Marie. I'm 33. Mm. And do you mean a positive attribute within myself or within the partners I typically choose? Yeah, your personality. My personality. Um, I would say I'm very understanding. I'm very caring. Um, I'm very loyal and supportive. Um, I have a good ear to listen, and um, I care about my partner's emotional well-being. So that's always been a positive in my past relationships. I like that. I like that. Let's go over here. Name, age, and the answer to his question. My name is Miriam. I'm 34. What was the question again? Because I didn't hear it. I'll rephrase it. So basically, like, what's like a positive attribute of um, that you've had people tell you uh, from like, the people that you've dated um, consistently, like about you that they've liked? Something about like how you are. Um, I pour into the person I'm dating. Um, I feel like I help them elevate as well, so that helps me elevate in a sense, if that makes sense. Um, I'm nice. <laughs> I, I mean, I really don't know. I feel like they really don't say it. It's just more through actions. Um, it's never like men verbally express why they do things. And men also do things a lot of times because they're supposed to do things, not necessarily how you make them feel. If you do something, then we do something. That's how it goes. Okay? Not off of a feeling, off of what's supposed to happen, off of the aspect of this relationship being transitional. I mean, transactional, okay? So if your man never told you, oh my God, baby, I love you, you're so smart. I just, you know I love you because you always cook for me. You always know what to say. You always do this. If men don't tell you the good things about you and you just feel like you're nice, then those things aren't true about you. If you're not a kind per if you're a kind person and people don't tell you, you're not a kind person probably. P men do things because of schedule, structure, order, purpose, transition, transaction. Men don't do things and don't tell you about certain things. That's just not a she's a bullshitter. Oh, well, you do this and you do that, and I like this, I like that. You get what I'm saying? But I could say this. Like, for example, if she told a man that I'm not going to be with somebody who's going to go 50-50 and all her men pay the bills, of course they're going to do that until they break up with you. They're not going to be like, you know what? We've been arguing a lot. I want you to pay 50% of the bills. That's not going to happen. But if niggas are constantly buying you, men don't do things, and they and you don't you you have no idea why. That's not a thing. That's more of a female thing. Yeah, I get you. She's a bullshitter. Yeah. 
Thank you. And then we got one more. Our nigga will tell All right, you. your name and age and the answer to this question. Hi, I'm Tanaya. I'm 27. <laughs> um, I would say a positive attribute from past partners is that I'm she looks really young. naturally genuine um, and mm. nurturing. Um, I do have um, an ear to listen to. Um, I don't know if that makes sense. But um, yeah, and then I always smile. And I think that's a really positive attribute that my partners, past partners would say. I always smile. Yeah, you see, she's on the last. She's a great thinker and she has time to think. Now, I don't remember which one he chose, but I think he should choose her. She is kind of a bullshitter too. She is kind of manipul very manipulative. Uh, so I think she's been doing that for a long time. But she looks a lot younger, and she presents herself to be a lot younger. If I didn't know better, I would think that she was like 23. I wouldn't say 27. But because she has all these great things about her, it's making me think that she went through some kind of metal, some kind of metamorphosis in the past couple of years. She's been working on herself because, of course, she just comes off too perfect with the exception of the whole manipulation thing. You know, and she's taller. Um, Cheeto Prince seems like she's been like this for a very long time. I can't remember how old she is, but all of these bitches are haters. Miriam, with her ugly old ass, of course she's not going to like this because she didn't give a good answer. She's just saying that. The men that she was with never told her anything good, which you'll see why later. That's cool. All right, let's head on back. Okay, so I am going to hand you a pick. You are going to have to pop one of these ladies' balloons. Just based off of what you've heard, what you've seen, all that good stuff. So let me hand that over. There you go. And then just go ahead and pop one of theirs. This is horrible. Take offense, don't take offense. Hell okay, yeah. why did we end up Very popping good. hers? She seems like a really nice person, but person. Just, just not my speed. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Now, you did have your balloon unpopped for him, why so? Um, I just wanted to hear more. Like, physically, I wasn't attractive, but I'm learning to not look at the physical, so. You're learning to not look at the physical, but on your Instagram, you got lip injections. You you obviously have a BBL, in my opinion. She got some weird experimental thing done with her, with her eyebrows, and she has a whole Subway sandwich, five dollar foot long, on her face for her chin. So, coupling all of those things with the fact that, you know, you are a beautician, you're a hairstylist. You do look at the physical, and that's the first thing that you said. You're lying because you're hurt, and you're hurt because you're ugly, and you know it. I just wanted to kind of hear more, but we didn't match, so it's okay. <laughs> All right. It worked out. You go, bro. <laughs> okay, and one tell. last thing I'm going to say. All of this is nervous ticks, and she's getting frustrated. She was probably, she's been a, a play cleaner her whole life, just because I can smell it. She was probably like 300 pounds in high school. Or she's 34. Well, she says that she's 34 out of her mouth. Out of her soul, she's saying that she's 64. So when she was in her 30s a couple decades ago, she was probably like four or 500 pounds and used some of that beautician money and saved up some of them SSI checks and got her a little, you know... A little nip and tuck type of situation, you know. R.I.P. Nipsey Hussle, but nah. I'm back. Okay, let me see here. I'm gonna have you ask the ladies a question, and then I'll have them ask you a question. Okay. Um, man, we have a question. I'm gonna think about. It. Give me a second. Okay, let's have them ask you then. Right? Yeah, yeah. Okay, ask me. ladies, any questions? Down there. Okay, let's start down here. So what are your long-term goals, like, with the next couple of years? What do you see yourself at? Um, 
continue working, uh, investing, kind of like really setting money aside. Um, in the long run, I want to like live abroad, so possibly buy properties in Asia, Mexico, um, invest in businesses. I kind of want to open like a laundromat up. I'm kind of really wanting to just kind of get up like residual income. Okay. Um, hey, you see Cheeto Prince over there ticking like choose me. Ain't nothing wrong with that. That sort of thing, really. That's kind of like in the forefront and of course meet someone that I could kind of establish. Yeah, you see mommy, you fucked up. Always think of putting your son first. How can you... Your son is not going to do anything for you. He might be... He might end up growing up to be a gangbanger and go to prison for the rest of his life. This nigga's already got his shit together, so... Hey, man. You got... You said her, your son was seven years old? You only got 11 more years to live with this nigga. This nigga's gonna take care of you for the rest of your life. 50 more years. You gonna give up 50 more years for a stranger? You just met your son. This nigga's just as much of a stranger as he is. You don't even know your son because he's a kid, dude. He could grow up and be a horrible person. A relationship with. You gotta put your man first, baby. It's all about survival of the fittest. And uh, start a family. Yeah. Okay. What would that look like in in the? Yeah, he was trying to move you to Mexico, but you wanna you wanna kick it with this mother this this nigga over here watching Elmo and Miss Rachel and shit all day. You don't even know him, bro. But you can meet this nigga and 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 get your life changed. Most of all that, because that seems yeah. like that's a lot for. I don't think it's too much. I think you're gonna work and just you know money comes in time, so you can mm -hmm. allocate finances and just do what you need to do. And then meet that person and kind of build upon that and get to know them and you know go in the right direction that you know hopefully they're both you both are on the same page so okay. yeah that's kind of how i see it okay yeah that's my question all right <laughs> okay any questions Cheetos. over here um I yes are good. you how do you feel about long distance relations that is a horrible question you don't ask that bro i think she should have been a lot more aggressive she was being too passive aggressive that was her issue she was being too passive aggressive. she would have been like look bro i love that answer i want to come with you i would have resolved i'm like all right baby you're putting yourself out there you're showing that you want a nigga like come on baby that's what this i want you to want me like come on now chips or where are you where do you live i stay in la right now los angeles uh I've never done a long distance relationship, so I'm 50 50 about it. I don't know if I can give a yes or no, but I feel like if it's the right person, I think that, yeah, it's probably worthwhile. Gang, I stayed in Chicago when I was messing with my current girlfriend slash baby mama. It's going to cost you about two bands a month, a little bit less, you know, to fly back and forth from Milwaukee to LA. Once a month for about three, four days, you know, it's worth it because after a year, you kind of get into a habit where it's like being on the phone for about an hour, two, three hours a day. It doesn't really seem like that much because if you work a five hour, I mean, a five day week and you live in the same city as your partner, and I don't have a partner, if you live in the same city as your woman then you spend about a day and a half with them. Okay, so the time that you have, both of them don't have children, it would have worked. But I don't remember who he chose, so. Yeah. But no, that was, that, she shouldn't have asked that question. Horrible question. Okay. And where are you? I know he said he's LA. I'm in Wisconsin. Okay. So we would be quite away. I've, I've never been to Wisconsin. Actually, I think I have been once to like a Wendy's or something like that. <laughs> I was like 15, <laughs> but I haven't really been in Wisconsin. I've never been. Okay, cool. With his, with his white guy sense of humor. I will say this. Uh, I forgot what I was about to say. To LA either, so. Well, you got you to come to LA. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So if you're ready to pop, you can pop. Or if you have another question, you can ask the ladies another question. Um, <laughs> excuse me. What do you ladies look for in a guy? Like, what, what are you looking for? What's the situation? Okay. I'm looking for someone that's um, ready to be committed in a committed relationship. I don't want to waste time anymore. I'm 33, so I don't want to 
interact with situationships that are just going to pass the time. I want something more long term where I can get to know someone on a deeper level um, and really build that friendship to where we can work towards, you know, a marriage or starting our own family. Um, I just don't want to deal with anyone if they're just to pass the time. And I would hope someone is ready to commit in that way as well, or at least work towards that type of commitment. Mm. Yeah. That wasn't a good answer. That wasn't a good answer. So where she messed up was, I mean, just the seriousness of it. Like, I don't want you to just test drive me. I'm I'm done collecting all these bodies. I want you to be serious with me. Don't play with me. Don't hurt me. Don't do this. I'm ready to have a family. I'm 33. My name's whatever her name is. Like, you're putting it all, like, that's, yeah, that's what this is all, this whole thing is for. This, this whole process is for that. But you're just being too serious, man. Just being too serious. That was not a peaceful answer. That was a business answer. Okay. Understand. It's good on here. Understood. You heard that understandable? That was an understandable of empathy. You've been hurt. I've been wasting all my time. Like, nah, bro. That was not a good understanding. That was a rejection. Understandable. So I'm looking for someone that I can build with. Um, mm -hmm. Someone that I can call my best friend, but also my lover. Um, also someone that is committed and that wants a family and wants marriage. Because family is everything to me. So I want somebody that's really grounded in that. You see how that was way different, but it was the same wording. The energy was different. And she used the word want a lot. She made it seem like it was a demand, which is, yes, you're supposed to demand respect. You're supposed to demand and program certain types of situations and people in your life. But she seemed a lot more, like, loose with it. She was more like... And wow. grounded in faith. It doesn't have to be a certain denomination, but have to believe in something okay. sounds good yeah. all right it's time to pop gotta pop one of their balloons she already carried on about me. this is hard i know i know they're amazing ladies <laughs> where's my toothpick you lost it oh, all right okay um, there we go <laughs> i can't make a decision yes you can <laughs> no, no, I, no i can't no i can't um, <coughs> uh, skirt. Oh, 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 all right. That's fucked up. <laughs> so, why do we end up popping hers? Girl. I saw it was really, it's really, really tough. So, what made you decide? Honestly, it was really, really tough. I, I think you both are great. I think all the ladies are actually pretty great. Um, I wish I could have a little more time to get to know you. Um, your response on the last question I felt was kind of rushed, and I, I get what you were saying, because mm -hmm. um, time is, like, really important, mm -hmm. so that's kind of why the reason was. Uh, I felt she was a little more calm and madder about it. You mean like... See, exactly. And you might be saying to yourself, Aaron Moses, but you already watched this video. Nigga, this is a whole... Hour. You think I remember every detail of what I remember? No, I don't have notes. I'm, I'm chilling, bro. This is just real shit. Hey, she seems kind of scary and needy. Rushing to a relationship or rush in what regard? Just the energy. Like, I get what you were saying, but mm -hmm. I felt like it was real kind of like, just like, man, we got to like do this now, you know? Okay. <laughs> so, yeah. She said, the other chick said the same exact thing. But. He said that she was giving off an energy of we got to do this now, a.k.a. thirst. But they both said, I want a family. I don't want to waste my time. Okay, that's first of all. Niggas, no man likes to hear, I don't want to waste my time. That's Y'all have to learn. You, you have to expand your vocabulary. 
ladies waste my time. That's the worst thing you could do to a motherfucker is waste their time. So you're saying I don't want you to be the I don't want you to give me the worst experience that you, that you can have as a human being. That's scary to hear and like what what what? Like, you know? So they pretty much were saying they want the same thing. They want a family, they want a husband, they want a baby, they want to maintain their career and they want to they want a man for life. But the energy was different. It's all about, even though people using the word energy, that's more so how the ladies speak. But we're all energy, and we perceive energy, too, as men. Let's go. <laughs> all right, thank you. Let's come on up here. Come on up, come on up. All right, so I have a final question, if you guys are all good. No. Oh, no way. No, you can go, you can go. Oh, <laughs> Okay, so <laughs> is it going to be a yes for you for him? Yes. Uh, is it a yes for you for her? Yeah. We got a match. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'll take this mic and you guys can go on off. Yes, give it up for them. Oh. <laughs> Even the thought, she still likes to see that bullshit. But I will say this, guys. This is uh, my closing statement. Um, as far as understanding what to do and what not to do, uh, you guys have to understand that what you do and what you think, you know, when you're all by yourself, that's going to come out. That's going to reflect on your day-to-day -day life. Okay. That's going to, her being thirsty, she probably has thirsty thoughts, thirsty habits. If you think about weed all day, you're going to act like you think about weed. If you think about pussy all day, you're going to act like a prevert all day. Your eye come, People are going to be able to look at the, it's certain things that you can't hide from people. No people. It's going to show in your eyes. It's going to show in your actions. It's going to show in your mannerisms, your body language, your thoughts. What you do when you're all alone and what you think all day is going to reflect in your life. And there are people in your life, people that you know, people that you don't know. And you might say to yourself all day, I don't want to come off as thirsty. I don't want to come off as a pervert. I want to come off as a piehead. I don't want to come off as a, a, a compulsive liar. And that's all you do is think about things that you don't want to do. Everybody knows this lady is thirsty. Everybody, everybody knows that the, the dude, what's his name, Brian K. Johnson with the green polo. Uh, he's a thirsty... Excuse me. He's a thirsty guy because he has thirsty thoughts and he takes thirsty actions in his life. That's just what goes on. People are going to know no matter what. There's nothing you can do about it. So the ultimate way to get what you want out of life and to receive those blessings is to just chill out and not be thirsty. Then you won't get thirsty ass results. That's it, man. This is Aaron Moses. Make sure you like this video. I'm the bang, you the bang. We the bang together, man. Life's in the breath, bringing it in. Peace, gang.